the implementation of the weapon is embarrassing. It's basically a handoff. Dude, I got four headshots with this thing. Are we playing Overwatch right now? Jesus. The guy that I headshotted through my friend, I did 285 damage. What? Like, should that even be allowed? And he's gonna be nerfed. I mean, it has to be nerfed. Back in 2015, Valve released an update for CSGO that introduced replay kill cams, Christmas sweaters for chickens, and the most busted game-breaking gun of all time. They called it the R8. We called it the Revolvo. You can one-shot somebody with a f***ing pistol! Why is that allowed? Double, double, double. Like, oh, oh shit! What? Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Jesus! For 48 hours, CSGO became a broken mess. Just absolute mayhem. And to this day, people still wonder, what the f*** was Val thinking? December 8th, 2015, a date which will live on in infamy. The patch notes called for in-game gifting, holiday cheer, community stickers, service medals, pretty standard stuff. Valve reduced pistol accuracy and increased bullet spread for ARs, essentially nerfing everything that wasn't a sniper. And then buried within was the unassuming and inconspicuous R8. According to the patch notes, it occupied the Desert Eagle loadout slot, but the notes didn't say anything else. In the loadout menu, it was described as having a highly accurate and powerful round at the expense of a lengthy trigger pull. Me and some friends were talking like a few weeks ago, actually, and we said, like, wouldn't it be f***ing hilarious if they changed the Deagle for a revolver? And they were was like, oh yeah, dude, that be f***ing sick. Now, while most players were adjusting to the new recoil patterns of the AK and the M4, others, like Anomaly, were in for a treat. I can imagine. Oh, yeah, it one shots in the stomach. Yeah, this is going to be so insanely f***ing overpowered. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the guy that I headshotted through my friend, I did 285 damage. Whoa. What the f***? This is like legit f***ing sniper. It had a better range than the AK. The hitbox of a shotgun. And bullet penetration not seen since... Goldeneye? But worst of all, in addition to its versatility, Valve thought it would be a good idea to give the R8 a pistol, a secondary, the same base damage as an AWP. And the game's most prominent streamers and pros, like Freakazoid, were pissed. You can one-shot somebody with a f***ing pistol! Why is that allowed? That's the stupidest thing. And then look, this shit a f***ing sniper, bro. I literally just bought an AWP, an inaccurate AWP. For $850, I can one-shot people, and then I have a f***ing sniper for a left click. Ah, ah, ah. Look at that recoil pattern. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do to control this recoil, you're gonna really wanna focus in on f***ing holding mouse one, Jesus. Finally, as though the entire update was just an elaborate troll, the Revolvo had the distinct honor of being usable even when defusing the bomb. No matter how you looked at it, the R8 was a class apart. It was, without a doubt, the most busted gun in CSGO history. Nothing even comes close. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? I'm not gonna steal it. Five that shot. Dude, I got four headshots with this thing. Now, putting aside the fun that streamers like Summit were having with this nonsense, it was a pretty big deal. You see, since CSGO's humble origins, the AK and M4 have always been the go-to guns. And while other rifles have had their time in the sun, such as in the infamous AUG and Krieg metas, the AK and M4 have long been the immovable staples of the game. But now the meta was 
a handgun and nothing made sense anymore. Everyone was using it and every match just devolved into a five on five Western shootout. Saves no longer served a purpose and an eco round may as well have been a full buy since 850 bucks got you the best gun in the game. One small update and Valve had essentially nuked CSGO's entire economy. <laughs> Do we need to save? Uh, Do we? Yeah, let's, let, let's just, for the hell of it, let's just buy mini off. Are we using real weapons or just uh, the good one? This is the real weapon. I'm just using the real weapon. Oh, four. Now, all you gotta do, Terry, you can buy every round, though. So you just gotta fall for every round, bro. Oh, give me the ace, baby! It was so... Of course, pro players never got the chance to test out the R8 on the main stage. ESL Season 2 was scheduled that weekend, and event organizers were under considerable pressure to address the most recent update. Between all of the bad press and the outcry from players, both casual and professional, seeing the R8 on a pro stage would have been devastating. ESL was quick to announce that they would not be playing with the new patch, so as to maintain the competitive spirit of the event given the amount of money and prestige on the line. And while they never specifically mention the R8 as being the culprit, it's safe to say that it probably had something to do with it. Get him, get him, get him! That was the Like, oh shit! Uh, the revolver was, I mean, is by far too OP and he's gonna be nerfed. I mean, it has to be nerfed. And then, all of a sudden, it was over as quickly as it had begun. Not even 48 hours later, and big surprise, the Revolvo was nerfed into obscurity. Valve put out a press release stating, while it typically takes more time to generate enough data to drive an update, in this case, it's clear that we got the damage wrong and can respond immediately. The nerfs included increasing the trigger pull time from 0.33 to 0.4 seconds, while reducing the base damage from 115 to 85. That meant that the R8 now needed an extra shot to get the job done. What was originally intended to be an exciting new weapon that would shake up the meta and encourage new strategies wound up being a slow, unwieldy, ineffective meme cannon that would soon be forgotten. From pocket op to paperweight, Valve's experiment was a colossal failure. A poster child for testing patches before they launch. These days, no one in their right mind is going to swap a deagle for a revolver in competitive play. So Dignitas have a great opportunity to catch up and JW <laughs> has bought something disgusting, Dan. Well, you say it's disgusting, it's actually just, it's just a terrible weapon. <laughs> it's just not even good. Or is it? Maybe he's been practicing hard, maybe he knows the secrets. Hey, we need, we need JW Cam because I, I don't care what else happens. No, no, oh no! But sometimes, in the interest of comedy, the R8 still has its place in the CS universe. If only there was a meme slot for the likes of the Duelies and Revolvos. I lost the ball. Oh! Wait, did you spam him through the- Whoa! At the end of the day, the Revolvo fiasco shows us just how fragile and precious CSGO really is. All it takes is a few lines of well-intentioned code and the entire program begins to unravel. At least, for a couple of days. If only there was a meme slot for Duelies and Revolvos. Yo, the Duelies are sick. Don't talk shit about the ah. Duelies. The Duelies are lit. The Duelies double flash starting round is my go-to meme loadout. Two flashes and Duelies in the first round. That's that good shit. Oh, that's that good shit. It's like there is like this secret cult of like R8 users, of which I am not a part by the way. I just wanna be very clear. Who like actually do use the gun over the Deagle. Cause the D it's, it's only uh, worse than the Deagle if you have a really good aim. And most pro players have really good aim. So that's why they all take the Deagle. Cause if you're, if you're an aimbot, like the Deagle is just a god tier weapon. It's just unbelievably good. 
But if your aim is not great, like you're like a normal human being who doesn't have very good aim, the R8 is like theoretically better. They called it the R8. We called it the Revolvo. My voice cracked so ah. <laughs> they, 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 they.